All right, so we got ET right here, the last headrest. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and put this sucker in real quick. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on our 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. And as you can tell, our exterior is starting to come together looking like some absolute beef, nice and sharp. But what we're gonna do today is actually jump from the exterior and onto the interior. If you look closely here, what we have is the basic stock cloth seats, which they don't look that bad, but some of them actually come equipped with leather, which I think is the best option. And also we do got one torn seat from when the airbag deployed. And instead of getting that sucker repaired or replaced, I think we got even a better option. Come around back and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. We got a full leather kit from Aaliyah Leather that is two-toned and diamond stitched, dude. Imagine Dang. that on the inside of this thing, man. We got all this exterior looking nice and now we're gonna make the interior look nice. So let's just go ahead and see exactly what we got here and then we're gonna jump onto the inside and get to work. Goodness, dude we got bits and pieces for nearly everything inside of that rig man literally every piece of like cloth interior is getting is basically gonna get swapped out i mean we have everything i don't even know what this is right here what does that look like that to looks you? like a like a elbow rest or something well, you know on the door? oh for the door dude that's gonna be sick look right this there. you got the shifter boot and this is the uh, the e-brake dude and honestly the the quality just so just by the packaging show them the back dude, of it, it looks man. original i mean look at this stuff this is like what the original uh interior has on the back of the seats dude like that carpet stuff yeah, and dude, everything is stitched out. poppy i haven't seen like even a single piece of thread just sticking out or nothing, nothing that's like that's that. what's surprising dude this is awesome dude and that diamond stitch man I, we had to go with the diamond stitching i mean i like, mean if you're doing the interior might as well do some diamond stitch and that feels really great dude that's gonna feel good on your back when you're sitting oh on yeah something like definitely that. and also what else well, i mean what else look this like what, the bottom what don't we don't have you know what i mean we got everything here we got everything. i think we even got like an airbag cover piece to be, really? I, seen, I seen one of those pieces of uh leather that said airbag on it which one is it i don't know it could be this right here i think that's it or i don't even know i think this right here is actually for the center console they even give you oh. <laughs> gave us something for that I, I, are we going to use all this stuff or we're just going to use as much as we possibly can as much as we possibly can because this is actually going to be a pretty big job so we might as well get to it we started a little late right yeah we started a little late but it's a little early for this video so let's just go ahead probably pull out the front seat first and just get to it Well, that was pretty tough right that's there. pretty tough. All you had to do is just a little bit of tug of war. You know what? Max could have helped us right there. What is that like to keep it from getting moisture on that foam? I or? guess, if, yeah, I guess, uh, I mean, these Jeeps kind of are waterproof. So if it does rain on it, you know, it won't get sucked into the foam. That's so we're going to leave that on there. So I think this piece right here should be pretty simple. And if everything is just as simple as this, it should go fairly quick. <laughs> I said this before. Hey, I'll, I'll, I wish it does, you know. You so hope hopefully. It does. Let's go ahead and bring out this, try to find the headrest for this thing because there's like four of them. So let's figure they, it they out. They should all be the same though. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, they should. Everybody's so. back of the head is the same. Yeah, his <laughs> back of the head. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and bring out the headrest cover and try to slap it on. Let's do it. that first one go be honest really that was tough dude that was really say. tough and there i just watched a youtube video of how you're really supposed to do it you're actually supposed to like shrink the foam you put a vacuum bag over it and you shrink it up where can we get one of those vacuum i think bags? we could possibly use the bag that's on there and just like stick a vacuum to it maybe you may have to try that on the other one but yeah because that one was tough i didn't really couldn't record it because i was trying to help 
But look, yeah. it looks pretty dang good. Let me yeah, see. It, it looks pretty dang good. All we got to do is figure out how we're going to snap this together. And then on the other one, we're going to try that vacuum bag thing. And then we're going to show you guys exactly how we shove this thing on here. So check this out guys we finally got both of the headrests and i gotta say this is probably the hardest part of this entire process because they're so small and you're really supposed to shrink this foam down we try to do it with the bag and the vacuum but we just couldn't get it because i think we got the wrong bags but anyways we got them on here by muscling them on and i gotta say they look pretty dang good just check that out right there we'll let the sun do the rest because you're really supposed to let the sun kind of heat it up and it'll straighten out but anyways let's keep on moving probably onto this seat and see if we can get it knocked out Alrighty guys, so this seat about got us beat, but we are fighting back and we got it completely torn apart. As you can tell, there's a couple sections here. The most tedious part is actually these little metal loops right here you gotta be real careful with because if you damage them, then your seat will be really loose. So we don't want that. And it did get a little late on us, so we're probably just gonna have to continue tomorrow in the morning. All right guys, so it is the next day and we got some better lighting. So let's go ahead and grab all of our pieces for this seat, try to get it wrapped and get our first seat knocked out. out we got our very first seat knocked out over here and this sucker turned out absolutely amazing i'm loving the color scheme matches the jeep perfectly now honestly i'm noticing a lot more details now that we got this sucker installed i didn't even know we had this red strip right here but it looks pretty dang sick as well as a diamond stitching of course it has like some extra padding on here but anyways that sucker turned out amazing but as for this headrest as you can tell it's nice and tight and that is because we left it out in the sun and that's what we'll do with this seat it'll kind of get all these uh, creases out of here it's going to be nice and tight as well and you might have noticed us using zip ties in the corners here to kind of fasten it into place instead of the metal ties and i think that's the best and the fastest method to do this and i mean it's not going anywhere but anyways we're going to move on to the next thing and probably jump onto our driver's seat and hopefully get it knocked out a lot faster now that we know all the tips and tricks so let's just go ahead pull that sucker out and get straight to work
All right, so check this out. We finally got both of the front seats knocked out. And man, I gotta say, we're getting pretty dang good at this. We might just have to get into the leather business or something. Dude, uh, man, these things look like they're about to go into the GTR or into dude, like a G-Wagon or something. G-Wagon, that's what I was just about to say. I've seen actually G-Wagons with this type of interior right here. I can't believe it's going in there. But once it does get installed in there, it's going to be absolutely epic, especially when we drop the top or take the doors off. Dude, dude gonna that's going to look sick. I mean, it's just the perfect combination. Just can't get over how perfect that combination is going with the Jeep. Exactly. We're about to actually jump onto the rear seats. But as I was editing last night, I did notice something on my feet, man. You might have seen What's that on right your legs, man. Poison Ivy, man. I just wanted to put that out there because I know some of you guys would be wondering. And we actually ran into some Poison Ivy. You got a little bit of worse of it. Let hey, me show man. them what you got. I, got. I got it on my, as you can tell right there, I just sprayed some calamine on it. But, dude, I got it all over yeah, my arm. Yeah, you can't really see it because you got to put that spray on there, dude. Yeah, I guess it's whenever we're carrying them trees. I don't know if it's Poison Ivy, Poison Oak, Poison Sumac. I'm not a specialist. <laughs> it's something poison in it. And it kind of, you know, sucks. But we grew up running into this stuff, man. All the time, man. All the time. But anyway. Let's go ahead and pull that rear seat out and just get straight to it. All right, so our last seats are finally complete. And I gotta say the rear seats were probably the most intricate part of this whole entire process. Just by the way that they're actually assembled and we literally had to take them completely apart and they kind of just like split into two pieces or actually more like a hundred different Dude, pieces. Dude, hundred to two hundred pieces with like 50 bolts and clips. Exactly. <laughs> and also we had to do a couple cutouts for these car seat inserts as well as a seat belt and a few other flaps, but they are back together looking perfect other than uh, needing a little bit more sun here, as you can tell. But if you move on to the front seats, they had plenty of sun and they are starting Dang to form right dude. into place. They look almost OEM, Almost man. OEM. All they need is a little bit of leather conditioner just to protect them. I wonder what that leather conditioning does actually to this leather. Does it just like protect it or does it, it like... I think it protects it from the sun or something like that. But anyways, we forgot to totally install our drift brake here. <laughs> or actually, this just goes right here. Just got to pop a cap. And what is that lumbar support yeah, or something like that? Yeah, lumbar adjustment or back adjustment. But we are done with these seats. The only thing that we got left for this interior is actually three headrests. So let's just go ahead and take those suckers apart and go ahead and install the new leather on them. So we got ET right here, the last headrest. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and put this sucker in real quick. Dude, it does kind of look like ET now that you mentioned it. Hey, ET finished off our whole entire interior, dude. Man, I'm, dude, I gotta say, we figured this joint out, man. We can do interiors now, man. But, so if we need to do an interior for another vehicle, dude, we might, we might do it. Who knows? But anyways, we are just super pumped on how everything turned out. And also a huge shout out to Aaliyah Leather for hooking us up with such an amazing interior. So we are definitely gonna leave their link down below. So if you want an amazing interior for your vehicle, definitely go check them out. All right, so moving right along from the seats, we're probably 
probably gonna leave them out for tonight, but since I'm not gonna be here tomorrow because I need some TLC, some CPR, whatever my arm needs. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. It's just strictly business for you guys, but you'll be here tomorrow, right? Definitely, I'll be here. I'll probably finish up putting that interior in as well as doing a few other little things. Don't 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 get too excited, Dude, man. I'm, I'm happy. I, <laughs> I love working on this thing, but anyways. Let's go ahead and actually jump into our garage, our goon squad shop. We haven't been here in such a long time, and we're just gonna talk to you guys something about what happened in here since we haven't been working here in such a long time and due to all the storms going by we actually had some kind of weird power surge i think actually a lightning bolt strike this thing and burned everything out all the light bulbs our printers our expensive printers, yeah. even the refrigerator i think it really yeah because that know. sucker doesn't work anything else plugged into a socket actually burnt up which is crazy our chargers and luckily our, our expensive laptops weren't plugged in Man, so we're good there say. But as of right now, we're gonna go ahead and actually open up some fan mail for you guys. We haven't did this in such a long time, and man, I bet we got some awesome stuff in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the knife and open up the first package. You ready? Yes, sir. What, what, do we have here? what is this, man? Check that out. It's like a little pump or something. Let's see if the thing is in here. Any note or letter in there? Oh, it says yeah, it for them. paint reducer and thinner, easy no spill transfer from GSD, dude. That oh, is awesome. We're actually dude. gonna be painting here real soon, and you know how it's really hard to transfer paint into your paint. Dude, ducts. this will be easy. A little pump right here. That is legit. We definitely appreciate that. All right, we got one from Nashville, Tennessee, Ooh, right here. That's right up the road, dude. That's neighbors right there. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, dude, check that out, man. We could yeah. never have enough razor blades. Never. Man. We use these suckers all the time. Outdoor Edge, dude, that is legit. Let me see who this is from. This is from Jack from Nashville, Tennessee. I mean, check this thing out. It has even a bottle opener. So that one's going to be mine right there. But definitely appreciate that. Now let's move on to the next one. Oh, a package in a package? Package in a package. That's always cool. What do we have? What is this? I have no idea. Is that like written? Police canine unit. Is this a dog? Is this a dog shirt right here? That is pretty sweet if Max gets up in that police car that we got. No. See how big? Oh, that's oh, a tiny one. Dude, that's when probably Max was a wow, pup, dude. This probably man. fell between the cracks, but dude, that is legit. Who is this from? This is from Furberry. Furberry. We'll probably get another pup sometime in Max the future. Max needs a proper uniform. Much love from another YouTuber, Ultimate Rebels, dude. Appreciate that, guys. All right, moving right along. We've got a package here from George. Let's go ahead and see what we got in here. Oh, oh, there's some crazy packages right there. That's one of them, like, what is that? Like uh, some sort of it looks like insulation? Kind of insulation or something like that. It's crazy. Oh, <coughs> and you are standing right in front Dang, of a Ferrari. dude. Look at that. Dude, that matches the bumper, dude. That, that. is epic. I got a huge shout out to George from Orlando, Florida, man. Dude, that is awesome. All right, let's see what we got in this green package from Live Action Safety, man. Ooh, Never heard of that. Live ahead. Action, that's what Cletus does right there. Some Live what? Action. What is this? No, no way. No, what dude, is it? that's a, a the light cover for our cop car, dude. That's a sick one. We did end up wrapping it just for legal matters, but that is way better, dude, man. Dude, this is going to look sick. We're definitely going to have to put that sucker on. You'll probably see this on our Instagram, dude. Heck yeah. Dude, that's legit. Who's this from? Live Action Safety, I'm guessing. We definitely appreciate it. All right, we got a box here that looks like it's from Christmas, man. This stuff has been sitting here for quite some time, but dude, we are still excited like it's Christmas morning, Heck dude. Heck yeah, it feels just like Christmas. Christmas in july christmas in july let's go ahead and see what we got here box in a box box in a box package in a package oh i already see foam something foam something foam something a foam gun dude a one that we don't use our this is the one that you can actually use just with a regular a water hose which is does come in handy you know sometimes we don't want to crack out that pressure washer dude actually i've always wanted to try one of these so you'll probably check that out man you can put a tip on that that's pretty crazy dude, that's legit. i'll probably put this to use actually tomorrow washing the jeep you know it hasn't been washed in a while so yeah that's pretty we sweet. don't there's no letter in the box but we definitely appreciate whoever sent this out this is definitely going to come in handy Ooh, what do we have two shirts one for you one for me what does it say on it i don't know no letter no, no nothing. letter or nothing oh hello goon squad thought you'd be interested in our latest design shirt tunnel how to take a look keep making awesome content for our car people fast life apparel dude <laughs> what does it say how to drive through a tunnel windows down steering wheel 
uh, downshift down and uh, step on the pedal, man. Hey, open the window, drop a gear, and disappear. Dude, exactly what you said right there. That's pretty sick right there. Definitely gonna uh, put that on when I'm driving through a tunnel. All right, so I'm gonna jump in here and actually crack some of these open. Man, I can't have all the fun, dude. Man, you're just having way too much fun. I gotta open up some of these presents Which here. one's this from? What? Look at this. A what? Sistema part. Oh, I was reading the wrong side. A dry guide coke kit. I have no idea what that is, but that seems like something for body work or something like that. Do got a letter here. Check this out. I did kind of slice it a little bit because it was at the top of the box. I didn't mean to do that. Let's see who this is from. What's up, Gun Squad team? My mom and I enjoy watching your videos. We like your super down to earth attitude. And of course, we love the animals. Spencer Roach, Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. So that's definitely awesome right here. A uh, dry guide coat kit. We're probably gonna use this on Pop's truck here real soon, so we definitely appreciate it. All right, so this is from Michael from Staten Island, New York. Let's see what you got for us here. Oh, the Viper. This looks like it was hand drawn as well. And look Dude, at all the detail, man. That is sick. Definitely gotta frame this, but we appreciate it, Michael. Oh, you got a seat? <laughs> I had to have a seat right there because my knees were hurting, man. We were on our knees all day almost doing that upholstery. But next letter here, and this is from uh, Bronx, New York. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. We got like some, looks like an, in, an instruction manual. You know what instruction I mean? Instruction manual? I wonder what use, that's from. We don't usually use instruction manuals. Let's go ahead and see this. Wow, here's for you to rend. Also, make sure to follow safety rules. Very important. You know we don't follow safety rules. Oh, what actually, is, this is awesome. What dude. is it for? This is for the Gradal, man. A no. whole entire uh, material handler's owner operator manual. Oh, dude, dude, that's gonna definitely come in handy, dude. Man, we appreciate that, Lewis. You definitely took the time to print all this stuff off, and it's definitely gonna come in handy. All right, so we had another one right here. This one's actually pretty dang heavy from Duane Gourley from Washington. Dang, this sucker is taped up pretty dang good. You guys are taping these stuff up too good, man. Might have to start ripping them Might apart. Might have to start ripping them, but let's see what we got here. A Bible? Two oh, Bibles. dang, that's pretty legit. No. Yes, Some this is a Bible. quality stuff wow. right there. I think this is a Bible, yeah. It doesn't say anything on the front, so I'm guessing the Bible oh, right is presented there, by Duane Gourley. Hey, I might have to start reading this thing, man. You know what I mean? Definitely gonna come in handy for my life and yours. All right, so we got something from Pleasant Plains, Illinois. Let's go ahead and rip these suckers oh, there you man. go Ooh, look at this attack force tactical re rescue outdoor oh, that, so that looks like a pocket knife or something like it, that it does it feels like it too let's see Ooh, man that is so Dang. sick man who sent look at that this. out that's probably the guys who make this stuff custom knives let me see if there's a letter Oh, there is a letter, gift message. With all these packages y'all are getting, I figured you need something to open them with. I'm a huge fan of the channel. Keep up the good work from Brody, man. Might as well go ahead and put it to use, dude. Man, we definitely appreciate that. That's a really cool knife. All right, so we got one here from Robert Marshall from Australia. That's on the other side of the pond, man. Let's Dang, go ahead and man. see what this is. Dude, this is gonna be so cool. I already see it. It's like an Australian sign or something, man. Let's check it out. What? Koala's gotta, next four kilometers, dude. Dude, that is Is there two awesome. signs? Awesome. There's another one that says something it about a kangaroo. better have a kangaroo one, dude. Kangaroo Dang. next four kilometers. That is so cool. We should just hang these around the property just to scare people. Definitely appreciate that, Robert. And I think we do got a letter here that says, Good day, Gun Squad. Thanks for such great videos. We thought you would like some Aussie things in your garage. Love and peace from Marshall family in Emmerdale, New South Wales, Australia, man. We definitely appreciate this awesome gift. All right, so that is gonna be it for the fan mail. We definitely appreciate all the love and support and every gift that you guys send us. That is gonna be all for today. We'll catch you guys tomorrow in the morning. All right, so it is the next day here, and I went ahead and threw in that interior, and I gave this Jeep a clean on the inside and out, and it looks absolutely flawless. And I removed the bed rack just to see what it looks like. I think it looks pretty dang cool. But before we go, I do want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor on most of these Jeep parts, Reckless Off-Road. They're actually going to be doing a giveaway on some LED light pods, the exact ones that we got here. They're like two-tone. They're really cool. And all you got to do to get entered is actually give them a follow on Instagram and be sure to tag us in the latest post and you're going to be automatically entered. But that's going to be all for today. Make sure your post notifications are on and also be sure to follow us on Instagram to get an inside scoop before YouTube. And if you want to copy some merch, definitely be sure to visit Goon squad.com but with all that being said thank you guys for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you next time
Peace.